Let's get into it. Hello. All right. So we have nine most dangerous islands on Earth. We got some educational shit for you guys today. We got teacher Shay in the building on YouTube today, man. So, as my boy Flight said, if the principal's coming, I'm gonna give you a little wink, a little heads up. Put away your phones. You ain't gotta be paying attention in class. Just make sure you watch the whole video and leave a like at the end. Let's get into it, man. From the possible site of the legendary Garden of Eden to an island that may cover an alien base. Okay. Today, we look at the nine most mysterious islands on Earth. Number nine, the etiquette on this video. Island of Socotra. Fudge. Off the coast of Somalia, in the Indian Ocean, is an island that seems as though it belongs on another planet. Where she Socotra island, island has long been theorized as a location for the biblical Garden of Eden. Oh. And just by looking at pictures of it, you can see why. Okay. The island is home to several species of plants that can't be found anywhere else on Earth. Oh. There are the Dr. Seuss-looking Adenium Socotrinum, which have big bulbous trunks and tiny gnarly branches that sprout from their tops and bear flowers that are a marvelous shade of pink. Okay. Their odd appearance makes them kind of look like giant root vegetables. Then there are the dragon's blood trees, what? which look like perfect natural umbrellas. They have trunks that resemble that of an average tree, but their thick, tightly bunched branches shoot upwards and form a mushroom-like crown. Wait, wait, what video, what, what is, what video is this? The most, oh, most mysterious. Home what did I say? I think I said like most dangerous or some shit. The Socotra sunbird, Socotra grosbeak, and Socotra starling. There aren't many other creatures that inhabit the island other than that of bats and insects. Okay. And the last time it was home to man was around the year 100 AD. Adding to the mystery, the island has been the site of dozens of shipwrecks over the years. Oh. Number eight, Palmyra Atoll. Okay. Though technically not an island, but an atoll that formed from coral, atoll. the mysterious nature of Palmyra Atoll cannot be. If y'all know what's the atoll, man, leave it Palmyra in the comments island. below. The breathtakingly beautiful ringlet sits between American Samoa and Hawaii. Oh, shit, that's beautiful. Though it is full of lush vegetation, and appears unblemished by man. Uh -huh. The island has long been the subject of superstition and folk tales. Okay. There have been several cases of violent shipwrecks and uh -huh. mysterious disappearances of ships on and around the island. Those who have observed the island and survived well, this shit kind of scary. have claimed having seen no some lie, strange watch this shit in the night. sights, like that of floating lights, ghosts, and sea monsters. It is also I'm looking behind me. I'm not scared. I'm just looking behind me, bro. Check the environment. I'm not in my house. I'm outside. For like, chillax. There is also the story of lost Incan treasure that may still be on the island. These tales and others which cannot be discussed due to their oh. graphic nature have made Palmyra the it's stuff of the fall. among sailors and I'm, Pacific This might not be the last video, I'm going to cap it off. Number seven, Vulcan Island. Vulcan Island in the Philippines isn't necessarily an island that is shrouded in mystery, but it is definitely a mind-blowing locale. Okay. On the northern Philippine island of Luzon, there sits a lake named Taal, and in that lake there is an island called Taal oh, Volcano. Okay. Inside this island is the world's largest crater lake, and inside of this lake there sits yet another island known as Vulcan Island. Not only is oh. Vulcan Island one of the most fascinating of natural a volcano recursion. inside a volcano inside an island on one of the most active volcanoes Shit. in the entire Pacific Ocean and it's still active because of this fact it is incredibly dangerous to visit Vulcan Island yeah as it has been quaking and bubbling since 1991 1991 Number six, Easter Island the world-renowned Easter Island still attracts tourists anthropologists and archaeologists to this day who are both perplexed oh and i see this one already i see i see pictures of this already by the ancestors of the native rapa nui peoples though the mysteries behind these statues called moai are now mostly solved they aren't the only oh they solved it confounded visitors to the small island off of chile what did they make that back in the day bro? one of the biggest questions surrounding the moai which was how did the rapa nui 
move these massive yeah. sky idols. Yeah, they did they that shit. They found out that these statues were specifically designed to have pot bellies pot so that bellies. they could be rocked back and forth until they were eventually wiggled to where they wanted them. Oh. But the mystery that still remains unsolved doesn't have to do with the Moai, but rather the people that built them. Yeah, who the did? The Rapanui have been found to have a completely separate genetic heritage bro, look, to that of bro, nearby anyway, Native South American at me, peoples. Bro. In fact, their closest genetic relatives actually came from Pacific Islanders that live near Southeast Asia. So, what is the mystery? Well, despite being located in the Pacific, Easter Island is still thousands of miles away from the Rapa Nui's nearest relatives. So how did they get there? And how did they build such advanced structures bro, visit that and place, invent bro. their own agricultural system? At some Quick pause, the teacher is coming. Heads up. All right, so you paying attention, man. It's all good. I'm just as a quick little test. You can take a drink of your soda, eat your food. Leave a like, man. It's an early period in history, despite being geographically isolated from civilizations with similar advancements. Well, how did Number they do five, that? The island of dolls, the Mexico City borough of Xochimilco, is steeped in Mexican history because it has long been the hub that connects the various dolls. canals and lakes of Mexico. It has been the cultural melting pot of the country. One particular floating garden on the canal. I'm of believing that shit. May be eerie That's to factory made. People put that there. Come from a caring place. Okay, okay. In line that with was Mexico's safe. tradition of honoring those who have passed from this life to the next. The legend goes like this. One day, a man found the body of a young girl who had met with a tragic fate in the waters of one of the canals. When he later returned to the spot he found oh her, God. he spotted a doll floating in the water oh and God. believed it to have belonged to the girl. Okay. In okay. order to pay tribute to the girl, he tied the doll bro, to this a nearby shit, tree. This shit's As creepy, bro. Passed, he still I'm looking the at the forest, spirit. and then the forest is behind me, bro. So this shit is creepy. And hang them on the trees. Though no one knows if this story is more than myth, it has become a tradition to hang dolls on the trees of the floating garden, which is now known as La Isla de las Muñecas, or the Island of the Dolls. Although this tradition comes from the heart, it is still quite a frightening sight. Yeah. The dolls are all in various states of decay, and some have even told tales of them coming to life. Number four, this motherfucker is Chucky Island, and Andy, you know? just off the coast of Venice, Italy, lies Chucky Island, and Andy, bro. which may have one of the most twisted and horrifying histories of any island on Earth. During the devastating bubonic plague outbreak of the 14th century, the government of Venice decided to try and quarantine the infected by sending them to Poveglia Island. That shit is crazy. Because we in 2020 and we in quarantine. We literally in history times. Island, where they would live out the rest of their days. Because of this, even after the plague subsided, the site became basically a national lazaretto and used yeah. any time an outbreak of disease occurred. They should so send them people with them. Serve a new purpose COVID the now, bro. When a mental hospital was built on it and the terrors that the patients were subject to at the hands of their caretakers Jesus, only yeah. added to the haunting history of the island. Oh my God. The island has since fallen into dangerous level of disrepair and the Italian Tourism Bureau technically has forbidden people from visiting unless they go through an extensive application and interview process but that hasn't stopped ghost hunters and thrill seekers alike from finding alternative Bro, ways ghost to sneak and on to the spooky dummies, man, Number bummies. Three, Isla Bermeja Dummy from bummies. the 1500s up into the late 1900s there existed an island off the Yucatan Peninsula in the Gulf of Mexico. At least according to maps, there was the islet of Bermeja what? was long used as the geographical boundary for Mexico's section of the Gulf. But several mapping expeditions in the 20th century that went looking for the island, frankly, couldn't find it. There yeah. are several theories Sink. as to how an island could appear on maps for the better part of 400 years but then suddenly disappear. Most modern day experts okay, believe sink. that the island never existed at all. What? And may have been the result of a cartographic mistake that went uncorrected. What? Some say that the island, which was described as being the color of strawberry blonde hair, did exist, but sank into the ocean. Yeah. This theory is backed up by- oh.